hello guys so let's learn how to calculate reason for a particular mold so there are actually many methods so first let me tell you this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a weighing machine okay just start it and then i'm going to take any mold okay so now let's see this weight so this is of 43 okay the mold weighs 43 now i'm going to switch this off and on next in this cup i have water tap water okay so i'm just going to put water here until it completely fills so you can see just put it like this yeah i guess this much is enough okay so here it shows 61 okay so what this mean exactly is that uh, you know this particular mold requires around 60 to 61 grams of resin and hardener so next time when you have question like how much uh, resin and hardener should i put into the cup and mix it so that i would just you know it would just fit the particular mold then what you're gonna do is you just need to put it put some water in this mold and then wait okay then you will know how many grams are required for that particular mold so i hope guys it is easy to understand if you are not comfortable with this you can also use a reason calculator something known as reason calculator which is available on google or any kind of other uh, website and all okay so you can just use that where you know they tell you to measure the length and breadth of the mold the width height and all and according to that they tell you uh, like how much resin and hardener is required in grams okay so this mold was of 5 inches okay it's a 5 inch circle as it mold next i will also show you with this one so let's check it's zero now let's just put it over here it weighs 7 grams okay now i will again pour some water here Okay, yeah, that's it. So as you can see, it shows seven grams. So this mold, uh, pet tag mold, requires around seven grams of resin and hardener. Okay. So next, you will just divide it according to the ratio, the resin and hardener, and mix it. You can use this method for any other molds, any big molds like name plate mold or any frame mold, even the such small molds also. It's totally up to you. Otherwise, just use the resin calculator. And even if, even if after, you know, just doing this, you are left with some resin, do not just keep it like that. Uh, and you know let it go to waste use it for some other project like always keep such uh, small molds handy with you you know small pendant molds are available or even small keychain molds are available always keep them handy with you so that you can just pour any kind of extra resin that is left and you know make a resin art keychain resin art pendant with it okay so that it just doesn't go to any waste and also with the experience you will get little bit little bit idea according to okay how much resin and hardener is required and yes one more thing after you have uh, poured water in this to measure it okay do not use it with uh, resin and hardener immediately because as you can see this one is still little bit wet okay so what happens if you just you know pour the resin and hardener immediately into this the resin will not cure okay because since the water is still left it will just not cure and that will be a failed project so make sure to let it dry completely okay let the wet mold dry completely you just have to wipe it properly with a dry cloth and let it wipe for a few minutes okay around at least 20 to 30 minutes let the mold dry completely and only then pour the resin into it okay otherwise directly it will just not cure so keep that in mind so yeah guys that's it for today hope you have understood the video completely if any doubts do let me know in the comment section below i will make sure to answer as much as i can and also for the reason calculator i will provide the links you know of a google and then i have one more link too so i will just provide you in 
those links into the description box so make sure to check them too stay tuned for next video thank you so much for your time